Hello guys, uh, in this video, we will go through this SAP learning journey, which talks about building side-by-side -side extensions on SAP BTP. So this learning journey is also associated with a certification, uh, which is, you can view the certification here, which is SAP Certified Development Associate, SAP BTP extensions with SAP Cloud Application Programming Model. So after going through the learning journey, you can also attempt this certification. So here in this learning journey, it, it has, uh, I think, around eight modules, and uh, we will go through each module one by one in the series of videos. So let's get started uh, with the first module, uh, which is about discovering the SAP cloud application programming model. So here, the first uh, chapter is identifying the need for side-by-side -side extensibility. So in this uh, particular module, first we will understand that what is the need for side-by-side -side extensibility. So here, um, say for example, there is a scenario, uh, you are working as a developer at a company that is using SAP S4 HANA Cloud, okay? And your company has a requirement to extend the standard SAP S4 HANA Cloud solution with custom business logic and UIs. This is a requirement to extend the standard SAP S4 HANA Cloud solution. Now you want to explore the options for side-by-side -side extensibility. This is a very important term, side-by-side -side extensibility with SAP BTP and SAP S4 HANA Cloud. So this is what you want to explore, the option for side-by-side -side extensibility with SAP BTP and SAP S4 HANA Cloud. So when you are building extensions in an SAP system, especially in a cloud environment like SAP S4 HANA Cloud, the traditional approach to develop and run custom business logic directly on the application server is no longer possible. So historically, what we used to do in SAP ERP uh, solutions, we were able to extend on-premises directly by adding custom code to the ABAP application server. So if there is any custom code we have to write for a standard SAP ERP solution, uh, there were means to do that uh, by using uh, body implementations or enhancement spots, and we could directly enhance the or we could directly uh, add custom code to the ABAP application server. But this particular feature is this particular uh, feature is no more possible with SAP S4 HANA Cloud. The capabilities and paradigms of extending SAP solutions have changed through the shift into a cloud environment. Okay. Nevertheless, the standard SAP S4 HANA Cloud system can be adopted to custom business needs. So you can extend your SAP S4 HANA Cloud solution as per custom business needs, but there is a different way to do it. You cannot directly add custom code to the application server, ABAP application server. So various possibilities exist to customize the standard system. So one of them is uh, leveraging key user extensibility. So leveraging key user extensibility, for example, to add custom fields to a SAP Fiori uh, interface UI. So this can be done using key user extensibility option, which is provided for SAP S4 HANA Cloud. However, this only meets the requirements for simple customizations. Only simple customizations can be done using key user extensibility. For more complex requirements, like adding custom business logic, a side-by-side -side extensibility approach is required. And this is what we will explore in more detail, side-by-side -side extensibility approach for more complex requirements. Now, exploring side-by-side -side extensibility. As introduced previously, the SAP BTP is a cloud-based development platform that focuses on business centricity. The SAP BTP provides a future-proof cloud-native development environment, harmonizing the development experience across SAP products and providing a seamless experience in the cloud. Now in SAP BTP, which is a cloud-based development platform, there are three application runtimes which are available. The application runtimes are SAP BTP ABAP runtime, SAP BTP Cloud Foundry runtime, and the SAP BTP Kaima runtime. So they provide a variety of options for both ABAP and non-ABAP developers on the, PC, on the SAP BTP to develop and run applications in a pro-code way. So developers can write code and create applications on SAP BTP by either using the SAP BTP ABAP runtime or the Cloud Foundry runtime or the Kaima runtime. So both the options are provided for ABAP and non-ABAP developers. 
Now, similarly for citizen developers, citizen developers are basically those developers which don't write code extensively. They primarily work with low code or no code tools. So for citizen developers, the SAP BTP offers a low code, no code suite of products to build enterprise grade extensions in a fully low code way. So for both type of developers, like for pro code developers and for citizen developers, options are available in SAP BTP to create applications to run applications and basically create enterprise grade extensions. Now SAP build, SAP build consists of three deeply integrated products, SAP build apps, SAP build process automation and SAP build work zone. These are the three products provided by SAP build. So these products are primarily used by citizen developers to create extension applications um, in a no code or low code way. It is worth mentioning here that both sides of the spectrum pro code and low code can be combined to build extensions in a hybrid approach where pro code developers and citizen developers collaborate in so-called fusion teams to build extensions. So both the kind of developers can collaborate and uh, build extensions on SAP BTP. So here we can see in this diagram, uh, this is the core solution extension. So SAP solutions, example, SAP S4 HANA. So in app extensibility, classic extensibility, this is an earlier approach where you could directly add custom code into the ABAP application server by implementing parties or enhancement spots. Now, the idea is to keep the core clean. So when we say we need to keep the core clean, we create side-by-side -side extensions. And how do we create side-by-side -side extensions? By using SAP BTP. So SAP BTP side-by-side -side extensibility. This can be done in either of these. These are the four uh, ways which are provided in SAP BTP. Basically three runtimes, SAP BTP ABAP environment, SAP BTP Cloud Foundry runtime and SAP BTP Kaima runtime. These three environments or these three runtimes uh, will be used by pro code developers to build extensions or build applications that extend the standard SAP solution and SAP build will be used by citizen developers. While it is still possible to develop the core solution, it's a proven best practice to keep the core clean. So this is the main idea, keep the core clean and rather consume application programming interfaces from these systems and integrate them into your extension applications. So you build extension applications in SAP BTP by, by using either of the runtimes which are provided. And from your standard SAP solution, you implement the application programming interface, the APIs and expose the APIs from your standard SAP system. And you integrate those APIs with your extension applications in the SAP BTP. So this is exactly where the SAP BTP comes into place. So as the cloud-based development platform, which is SAP BTP, SAP BTP offers a wide range of business centric capabilities to extend business processes in SAP landscapes and beyond. The foundational plane of the SAP BTP provides developers with the various development tools, services and infrastructure components to build and operate secure, scalable and reliable cloud native solutions. So as a whole, SAP BTP is a cloud based development platform which provides capabilities, business centric capabilities to extend business processes in SAP landscapes and beyond. So basically SAP BTP is, is a cloud based development platform which provides capabilities to extend the business processes in SAP landscape. So. SAP BTP provides developers with various development tools, services and infrastructure to build and operate all these cloud native applications. Developers have access to development tools, services and infrastructure components such as SAP Business Application Studio or the SAP BTP Kaima Runtime. So SAP Business Application Studio is a development environment which is provided by SAP BTP to build your uh, primarily to build your non-ABAP based uh, extension applications. Now differentiating the extensibility options on SAP BTP. So we know there are three runtimes on SAP BTP. Different extensibility options are available for ABAP based extensions. SAP BTP ABAP environment is the only choice to develop and run applications. On the other side, building non-ABAP based extensions allows you to leverage various technology stacks and pre-cloud native development and deployment scenarios. So you can build ABAP based extensions on the ABAP environment, SAP BTP ABAP environment, and you can build non-ABAP based extensions also. So non-ABAP based extensions will be 
developed and deployed on the Cloud Foundry runtime or the KMR runtime. Programming languages such as, but not limited to JavaScript, Java, TypeScript, Go, Python, and many more can be leveraged to build custom enterprise grade extensions on the SAP BTP. So all these languages can be used. You can build applications using all these languages to build custom enterprise grade extensions on the SAP BTP. These applications can be developed either locally in your ID or in the SAP Business Application Studio on the SAP BTP. Definitely Business Application Studio is the recommended IDE from SAP. And here it says the deployment can either take part to the SAP BTP Cloud Foundry runtime or the SAP BTP Kaima runtime. So you can build your non-ABAP based extensions in any of these programming languages and you can deploy them to the Cloud Foundry runtime or the Kaima runtime. Category, categorizing the skill set of SAP Cloud developers. So ABAP based and non-ABAP based. Uh, ABAP based utilizes ABAP RESTful programming model, which is also called as RAP. Supports only ABAP Cloud. Focuses on S4 HANA extensions. Yes and development only to on-prem and ABAP environment on SAP BTP. Non-ABAP based utilizes cloud application programming model. So when we develop extension applications which are non-ABAP based, we make use of the cloud application programming model. This is what we will learn in uh, this learning journey. Then supports JavaScript, TypeScript and Java. It supports multiple languages. Target multi-microservice based SaaS and SAP S4 HANA extensions development to Cloud Foundry and Kaima Runtime. So SAP Cloud developers can specialize in either ABAP or non-ABAP development. Uh, in the context of this learning journey, you will only learn about the non-ABAP based extensions. So this learning journey or this certification primarily focuses on the non-ABAP based extensions. More precisely with the SAP Cloud Application Programming with Node.js and Cloud Foundry. So this is what this learning journey is going to focus on. The SAP Cloud Application Programming with Node.js and Cloud Foundry. Thank you.